2020 is now officially coming to an end. We only have a couple weeks left, and thank god, it's been kind of a very slow year, and we really haven't gotten anything from Nintendo, or really anything new, such as announcements, and, you know, Nintendo Directs. <laughs> yes, we've gotten tons of them, but not the ones that we wanted. We all wanted a general Nintendo Direct, but Nintendo decided to give us these new things called Partner Showcases, which are third-party Directs, which is cool to get some of those third-party announcements out of the way, and, and out of a general direct and that way general directs can focus on first party stuff but we never got a general direct seriously it's been over a year now the last general direct was last september so clearly we're in december that's over a year that's unbelievable and yes i think it's time for them to start ramping it back up and getting ready to show us yet again another big nintendo direct to get us excited for what's coming in 2021 but i feel like nintendo directs are not done this just does not feel like the way that nintendo is going to go about the rest of their lives is dropping things on twitter and I still don't believe they're just going to come out one day and randomly say, oh, here's Breath of the Wild 2, here's Mario Odyssey 2 on Twitter. It's just not the same. And that's just what I believe. I know a lot of people say, well, they did Age of Calamity. Age of Calamity is technically like a second party game. It's developed with other studios outside of Nintendo, alongside Nintendo. And I think the only real example you can use here is Paper Mario, which was just completely out of the blue. But once again, it's still not considered that big, huge next Mario game that I don't think Nintendo's going to come out on Twitter with. But I do do think Nintendo is gearing up for something. They're releasing a lot of directs lately. In fact, they just announced a Super Mario World Direct for today. And this direct is actually going to focus on the theme park that just opened up in Japan or just finished in Japan. Um, and then there is another one coming into the States, which is going to be very exciting as well. But they're going to show us some information about the theme park. Very weird. Also, we got an indie world, which normally precedes some type of big announcements from Nintendo themselves. Um, so maybe that's a sign that something is to come very soon. Or we can go into 2021 once again thinking, oh, we're getting our January Direct and nothing comes. No, like seriously, I, I made a video. It was so bad last year. It's cringy. Here, here's a little piece of it. But on that note, I want to thank today's sponsor, LePow. LePow is a portable gaming monitor that you can pretty much take anywhere, and you can play your favorite games on the go on a screen that's big enough for everybody around you to see. Everything that you could possibly need is all inside the box, all the cables and everything to plug up straight into your Nintendo Switch and start gaming right away. With a thin, sleek design and the amazing quality of the screen, and not to mention that it's bigger than the average Nintendo Switch, you and all your friends can play portably now together without cramming together on that one tiny screen with the Joy-Con still attached. And to hook it up to your Nintendo Switch, you don't even need an HDMI. It comes with a USB-C cord that plugs straight into the monitor and straight to the Switch itself without even having to be docked. Of course, you'll need a power source, but besides that, you're ready to go. But if you want to plug in something else, such as your Xbox or PlayStation or any other console that you have with you, it does come with an HDMI cord and a port for that as well, which is extremely helpful. And on the sides of the monitor itself is the control panel, the power, and the ports that you'll need in order to connect all your devices. Or if you want to use it for work, you can connect it as a second monitor, or just use it to connect your phone to and watch some movies or something. It's multi-purpose, and it's extremely easy to fold up in its convenient case and put into a book bag, and you're ready to go. And if you would like to get your hands on a Lapal gaming monitor, check the description down below. It's a perfect Christmas gift for someone, or maybe just spoil yourself this year. And big thanks again to Lapal for sponsoring this video. Well, if you haven't heard, a couple of days ago, the Nintendo President of America, Doug Bowser, was interviewed about the impacts of COVID. And he responds, It was impacted some, especially during the earlier days, as we were sorting through what was going to happen with the retailers. How consumers were going to be consuming content in terms of media content, where were they going to get their news, their entertainment, because that was going to force us to potentially pivot some of the marketing side. So it sounds to me that Nintendo was still going to do directs this year, but thanks to COVID, it impacted that. And I still don't necessarily get it. They said the whole point of them changing things was to make things easier for the consumer to gain the media. You know, since lots of people obviously are on Twitter, let's drop games on Twitter. It was easy. But it just doesn't make sense because Nintendo Directs are pre-recorded presentations where people can watch on Twitter or on YouTube or wherever they get their information the same way. So I don't understand. Nintendo Directs were actually made for times like this where we couldn't, you know, go places or go to things or see things live. It was a pre-recorded thing that we could just all watch together. 
and maybe that was a problem. Maybe they didn't want to go live or something. Maybe there was something with that, but then you could say, why do they have all these little tiny partner showcases and stuff? It's a big mess, but it does sound like Doug Bowser kind of says that directs were still a thing. None of it was changed because we wanted to change it. It was changed because of what COVID has done to us, and things have gotten a lot better for the company now. They said especially in March was when things started to take a toll on Nintendo, but Doug Bowser made it seem like it wasn't even that bad, which is kind of mind-blowing to me considering the fact the way Nintendo acted this whole year. But as we jump into 2021, please do not expect a Nintendo Direct. You know Nintendo's going to do some weird things. We already know that the partner showcases are probably returning because they did state that it was the last one of the year about a month ago when they did the last one for 2020. Um, and they said, like, see you again in 2021, which clearly means that Nintendo Direct partner showcases are coming back. And like I said, they're perfectly fine. I think they're a great way to get some of that third-party information out of the way from a General Direct, and that way General Directs can focus on Nintendo stuff and not all that third-party information. And that would be great, but you gotta have a general direct for that to even work. And then you know we're probably gonna have some type of Pokemon Presents or something at the beginning of next year. That's normally how it happens. And then I feel like lots of people are gonna once again be upset until Nintendo randomly drops a couple of games on Twitter early next year. And then people forget about directs again. And then before you know it, it's two years with no Nintendo Direct. And if we get that far, it's just safe to say directs are done. But I'm gonna go ahead and say it right here, right now. Unless beginning of 2021 has something even worse than this year in store for us, I think we're going to get a Nintendo Direct next year. I think it's time. I think Nintendo already planned that nothing was going to happen this year for Nintendo Direct, you know, back in like the summer. And I think lots of leakers even said that there was not going to be a Direct this year. And in fact, it didn't happen. You can see pieces of it though, with the Mario showcase for his anniversary, and even with Age of Calamity, and even some Nintendo Treehouse shows airing. So it just seemed like there were parts of the Direct. There were parts of a Direct planned, but it just never came. I think they're definitely coming back in 2021. I think Nintendo is definitely off on the right foot now. I think the world is kind of a little bit better on the right foot. It, we're still obviously going through the virus and things are still affecting people worldwide, but we are definitely moving forward with this thing. And I think 2021 could finally reopen up for Nintendo and be something special. I mean, look at the bright side. We know absolutely nothing about next year besides Mario 3D World. So they've got to show us some stuff. And like I said, some of those big things, like I believe Breath of the Wild 2 is dropping holiday next year and potentially even a Switch Pro They've got to announce that kind of in a presentation. There's no way they just come out and just throw that on Twitter. Well, there's a way. They did it a lot this year, but I don't think they will. Let's hope. But what do you guys think? Is Nintendo going to give us a big direct to start the year next year? Or are we going to go in wondering what the heck is still happening with 2021? What games are coming out? And Nintendo, please talk to us. Well, let me know in the comments down below. And like always, I will see you guys on the next one. See you guys.